So Croft started off quite well. Uh, I was going into there with high expectations. Uh, at autumn, we was very quick considering I wasn't, I wasn't doing a Friday testing. So considering how well we did at autumn, I think I was definitely looking forward to the race at Croft, and uh, I think I think we did pretty well considering sort of the luck that we had going against us. Uh, race one uh, was a little bit, a little bit of a disappointment to be honest, because uh, we ended up starting in we qualified 15th, managed to get up to 10th, but uh, there was an issue with the uh, window wipers, so I was, couldn't see anything for the majority of the race, and ended up coming to the pits for a quick pit stop, which uh, of course put me down in last position. But I think ended up finishing around about 12th, so it was not a bad comeback and overall I think the team and myself were quite pleased with the result. So of course we're here at Sneston for round six of the championship. I think we're definitely looking forward to this one and I think the team and I are both sort of ready for a good result. I think we've definitely got the pace to get up there. Uh, practice has gone very well. Uh, first one not as well as we hoped but still pace was good. But uh, yeah, the second one went really well. I think we was around about 10th or 11th. So yeah, considering what the games other people were playing, I think we're very happy with that result. And we can definitely get a top 10 in qualifying as long as we've got luck, a good car and a good driver on our side. But yeah, no, a top 10 is definitely achievable. Yeah, we just finished qualifying. Didn't quite go how we wanted it to. I think we need to get uh, the toe in sorted definitely. We need to get some clear space to get a good time in, but it just doesn't always work out as I wanted it to. But uh, yeah, overall pace again was quite good and the car feels perfect. So uh, yeah, no issues there. Just got to try and push forward in the race and hopefully get a top 10. Yeah, so just finished race one. I think it started off very well. I started 15th and I should make it by make up to 10th in the first corner. So yeah, I was very happy with that. But uh, turn two, I think, got knocked down to about 11th. I managed to make my way back up to 9th, but then an incident with Collard put me back in 16th. So not where I want to be, but uh, I ended up coming back to 12th again. So good comeback and was getting some good times in there. So definitely pace is there. Just needs to keep pushing forward for the next race. Uh, finishing a Janetta race is definitely hard enough with all the, all the accidents that goes on. But uh, yeah, definitely I think race two can be a pretty good result for me and the team. Of course, now we've got our points reinstated. I think definitely hoping to push forward in the championship considering that we're now 12th. Think. So yeah, we've got a good chance of pushing up the order, definitely. So uh, yeah, hoping for the best. Yeah, the driver coaches have given us lots of help. I couldn't ask for a better coach, really. So Senan, uh, Jody, Steph, all of them are brilliant. Definitely helped with driver, driver development a lot and couldn't sort of progress as much as we do without them. So yeah, they're a massive part of the team. And sort of, If it wasn't for them, none of this would be possible, really. So yeah, very grateful for all of those driver instructors. I think the first half of the season, the overall pace has been decent. Overall pace has been very good. It's just the fact that when you're racing, you need luck, a good driver and a good car, and the problem is you need all of them. So we haven't necessarily had all of them at the same time. We've had some, sometimes got a good driver, sometimes got a good car, and then, of course, luck sort of very random. But, uh, yeah, I think pace is good. It's just we need to keep pushing forward, keep progressing as the season goes on, and then hopefully by the end of the championship, we'll be fighting for podiums. So, yeah. <laughs> Off the start, made a blinding start, started 15th and up to 10th, literally by the first corner, just went past all of them. Then made a lunge into hairpin one, got another, got another place, uh, held it at turn two, and made another place around the outside at turn three, and then I was up to about ninth thing, eighth or ninth, and then that's when it all went wrong, really. Got tagged uh, hairpin one, then just dropped back to last, and then there was a wishbone broke on the front. So yeah, just not what we wanted, but at the end of the day, the pace is still good, and hopefully, I can improve tomorrow. I'm starting last, so I can't really get much worse than that. Races today haven't gone quite to plan. I mean, outright pace has been good. I mean, both the team have been very happy with that, but it's just, it's, it's just not working at the minute. We're just getting taken out left, right, and centre, really. It's just not going to plan. But yeah.
No, yeah, the, that was the last race of the weekend and it really hasn't gone down at all really. So yeah, and that, that last race went on the grass, turn one, got pushed on there by another driver and then just torpedoed my way through the field and took out I think three or four drivers. It wasn't my fault, couldn't do anything about it, but it's just not how I wanted to end the weekend really and it's not helped my championship at all. I think overall the weekend's gone pretty poorly to be fair, taken out three times in all races, so uh, yeah, no, not what we wanted at all. Yeah, definitely can't wait to get to Knock Hill. Looks like a really good track, a lot of a lot of nice corners in there, very fast, very flow and very sort of a bit like a roller coaster as you said. But yeah, can't wait for that and I think overall pace this weekend's been good, so hopefully at Knock Hill we'll be on the pace and be up the front. But then again, if luck's not on our side then God knows what will happen, but yeah, just hoping for the best.